monster in the back? Yes. A monster. A monster in the back. Yes. This is how much we made at the door tonight. I'm not recording. Oh, sweet. Are your money? Yes. 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 Well, the thing is, uh, we had this. I was looking at the people online who were watching and talking to them. I wasn't trying to ignore you. I promise. I was, but don't worry. I'll get back to you guys in just a second. No, the the thing is, the the, the format that we talked about earlier. Yeah, yeah, totally. The, like we're gonna we're gonna do the thing with like the, the kind of Muppet Show kind of thing. Right, right. None of the wigs are here. Seriously? None of them. Like they got lost. Yes. Or they just didn't get purchased. Yes. There we go. Okay. Okay. Is that going to be a problem? Uh, no, we can work around it. The, yeah. way, the way I look at it, you know, there's like you know, four people here. There's like four people watching at home. People are going to watch later. We got to do a show, right? Totally. We got to make sure those people at home see it as well. So why don't we just do like a like kind of an impromptu show? An okay, impromptu, I, I, I impromptu feel like, show. I feel weird talking. We're going to talk back here where nobody can hear us. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, we'll be right back. Just, we're just, we're just stay tight. Okay. So what if we do, you know, just like uh, just a bunch of games. Like just make funny yeah, happen. Forget the forget the backstage stuff. Forget the okay. the whole meta aspect of the show. Right. Instead, we just go out there. We're not doing backstage. Know. No, not no, the backstage. Not, we're, we're thinking oh. about not doing the backstage thing and just okay. kind of. I mean, we can still talk back here, but I I don't see any reason why we should do like. We've been the leaving them out there unattended for a okay, while. I'll get, I'll get back out there. Okay, so we're just gonna do a couple of games tonight then, if that's cool with everybody. So thank you at home for watching. Thank you for being yeah. here and watching. We are Hat Trick Pony. Let me introduce everyone to you since we very rarely do that during our shows. Mr. Steve Wolbrecht on the drums. I, I'm playing drums. Yes, the lovely Maggie. Matt Mansell. Nathan Rice. Not you yet. Chris Odie. And our prospect, Coleman. No, no, don't all clap too loud. No, we, we, we can do it ourselves. We outnumber you. Remember that. <laughs> this is a long show, and, and we are going to get to know each other very, very well. Okay, guys, new plan. No format. No backstage. We are just going to, you know, do some games. No uh, rules? Stop. That's stop. not yes. what he said. Pants. Pants, pants are a rule. Pants stay on. One rule. Pants. 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 And long. shirts. <sighs> shirts and pants. Shirts pants. and pants. And pants. underwear. Where they are meant to be worn. Where they are meant God to be worn. damn it. <laughs> We've worked with you before. Okay, so everybody have fun. Round table. Oh, I'm glad I'm leaving. Ah, so round table, our wonderful sit-down news program where we discuss the important news of the day, such as uh, what's a topic that's been in the news recently about sports, news, entertainment, anything out there, something that's newsworthy. News, the stuff that happens not in your head, over the internet, maybe from newspapers, the television. Police brutality. Police brutality. Ah, that's new. That's new. That's, that's the start. <laughs> All right. Ah, so this will be a bit on uh, police brutality. Wait, uh, before you start the roundtable. Yes. Um, I'm going to ask Stevie to ask the people watching at home to give us some suggestions. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Okay. You guys want to give us suggestions? suggestions. All right. And then so, we'll have some more to use too. We need two suggestions for Cohen and I. We need a contemporary figure who has been in the news for some reason or another. Hillary Clinton. And then we need a historical figure, real or fictional? Dracula. 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 All, right. All right. Excellent. <laughs> Roundtable. Good evening. I'm Whip Gently, and this is Roundtable. Baltimore. Rioting consumes the city after a man in custody is. Uh, Beaten to death, oh. so the coroner's report indicates a homicide, severed spine, caved in skull of a young black man arrested uh. for something that was not even a crime. Uh, this is not just, uh, this is actually the latest in a long stream of very uh, violent reports of police activity. So far, I believe it was one young black man unarmed has been killed every 23 hours in 2015. Now, is this a sign of a, just a recent spate of uh, a burst of police violence, or is this merely what's actually going on most of the time in an age where it can be captured and reported over Twitter and the phones? Uh, we'll discuss all this and more tonight on Roundtable. What a lovely and funny topic. 
Let's meet the panel. I'm joined, as always, by Dr. James Matheson from the American Cultural Institute. James! As always, Whip, it is wonderful to be here. Can't wait to talk about tonight's topic. The presumed Democratic candidate for the 2016 presidential race, Senator Hillary Clinton. Hello! <laughs> from Transylvania and the st pages of Bram Stoker, Dracula! <laughs> and in the hot seat tonight, Dracula's mom. Hello. Dr. Matheson, let's start with you. Uh, police brutality, uh, is this a new thing? Is this simply an old thing that has been captured? What is behind this news-dominating story that has been going on for well over a year, beginning with the tragic shooting death of Mike Brown in Ferguson, St. Louis? Well, well, you know, Whip, I, I think this is just a, a classic example of where we just continue to see uh, cultural biases in our country. It's, it's just a matter of fact that we're dealing with this. It's a long-standing issue. There's no simple solution. And uh, unfortunately, I'm not convinced it will get better before it gets worse. Let's see. Senator Clinton, your, uh, your thoughts. How would you handle police brutality uh, under your administration? Well, with police brutality is an issue facing this nation, and one that should be addressed. I think in the recent media cases, it is tied very closely to racial discrimination. Now, the media has uh, been quicker in this instance to pick up on racial discrimination than in the past, although they do seem to be quicker about labeling my uh, van, which I'm going around the country in, as the Scooby van, which, according to them, is more important than the violence going on in Baltimore because they seem to report on it almost as much. The Scooby gang, also a racially non-diverse group unless you want to count Scooby-Doo himself. An excellent point. Is Scooby-Doo the token black character in Scooby-Doo? Dracula, your thoughts? Well, we praise you know, Scooby-Doo was very, very, very near and dear to me in mm -hmm. my childhood. Mm -hmm. Mother would always make me watch it when I wasn't sucking blood, mm -hmm. drinking blood, sucking and drinking blood. Mm -hmm. You know, the works. So I would have to say, it, it, it is uh, not very racially diverse, but not to say that I myself am not very affected by this uh, uprising of the uh, beating down of the blacks. You know, my cousin Blackula uh, has had many run-ins with the police. Very bad business. Very, very bad. The Dracula's mom, could you elaborate? Well, uh, you know, I just think that everything can be solved with some, with some nice orange slices. Mm. You know, that's what I used to give little Dracky before he started <laughs> sucking blood. And I brought some to share with you guys tonight. Oh, Here, she's wonderful. Now, but be careful. Such a delight. Hey, be careful because they're blood oranges. Okay? Ah, ah, oh, oh, I, oh, so I understand the joke. It is humorous. Uh, yes. <laughs> I see. Well, and that brings us to an interesting one. Oh, that's actually very good. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Right there. Uh, I'll bring you the recipe. Uh, a four bl sliced blood orange? Yep. It's complicated? Yep. I see. Uh, back to, back to... Could I get an assistant? Back to the uh, point at hand, uh, which is, of course, uh, deteriorating relations uh, in the inner city. Uh, and going back to the media portrayal of Scooby-Doo as... We, we got a knife on sight! Oh, oh, my dear! Oh, wait, wait. I can't look. Don't look. Oh, blood makes me queasy. Oh. Took care of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Matheson, uh, based on what we just saw, uh, are security personnel in this country a little too quick to beat the crap out of that guy? Well, you know, Whip, it's interesting that you should say that, because I, I can't help but wonder if the culture of violence that we find ourselves in so frequently, mm -hmm. if that has had an impact on the ways in which those persons who find themselves in positions of law enforcement, be it uh, actual police officers, or Secret Service, or rent-a-cops, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, if, if that is impacting the way that they do their job. Mm -hmm. And the way that they do their job, that's a good question. Uh, security versus liberty. Your take on that, Mrs. Lip. Mm. Well, I found something Oh, dear. Uh, <coughs> Mrs. Clip. <coughs> it was a little pulpy. Sorry. What was the question? Uh, very, an excellent point. Dracula. I'm, don't look. 
I'm sorry, Mrs. Clinton, you are dripping from the it's, side of your mouth, and you're just, going to have to take care of that because just, my son I'm, has a problem. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's, okay, it's so just, I'm getting hot. Can, can I get an assistant? Okay. Look at me and answer the okay. question. Look okay, okay. I know. I'm breathing. I'm breathing. I'm breathing. Okay. Okay, just get it all. Oh, you know, we're going to have a problem. Oh, man. I can't help it! time we have uh, tonight on Roundtable. Join us next week when our guests are Dr. Matheson, George Clooney, Attila the Hun, and a slightly larger version of Attila the Hun. Could I get a suggestion of a chore that your mother taught you how to do? Ooh. Something that your mother taught you to do, like an everyday activity that laundry. she. What's that? Laundry. Laundry. Yes. Good. Okay. Laundry. Excellent. So uh, we're gonna do a scene based on laundry, and we're gonna do that, and we're gonna kind of keep ourselves limited in time. We're gonna do it in thirty seconds. Wow. Can somebody like time us? Got it. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Cool. Scene on laundry. Got it. Uh, Chris, give us the go ahead when we can go. And how long are you supposed to go? Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Go! Oh. Oh, I've, oh, I've got more! Do you need help with that at all? Uh, I mean, we better get to work. I guess. It's a beautiful day by the river. Yes. Better start uh, washing <laughs> these clothes. We've already done those four baskets oh, already? Oh, darn right we have. Boy, the Tsar sure has some dirty undies today here in <laughs> Moscow. Yeah. Five seconds. It has oh, been a very it's busy It's busy day. indeed. Uh, well, I think we're just about done. That's it, all right. One. Good job. Okay, that was pretty uh, yeah, boring. Lots of, yeah, yeah, okay. lots of, lots of drama. Yeah. Can you, I, was, I could drive yeah. trucks through some of those pauses, guys. Yeah, I was oh, awful. Oh, oh, wow. Uh, some of the content. No, no, it was a drive. Some of the content. I like the story. I like the struggle. Uh, a for effort. The humanity of it. Hard. I bet just, just tighten, it tighten, tighten it up. Tighten it up. Tighten, tighten it up. up. Okay. Tighten it up. All right. Because okay. time is an issue. Yeah. Let's no, do it. Half the time. Yeah. Cut it right in half. Half the time. Okay. 15 uh, seconds. Same okay. whole scene. Same whole scene. But right. it's actually okay. the same. All right. Okay. Go. Oh, oh boy. Hey, good. Another one. This is your boy. Okay. Better get started on this beautiful day from the river. So I sure has dirty underwear today. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Good indeed. Wow, okay. lots of uh, uh, That's all right. How's Moscow? Fifteen <laughs> seconds. Good, good, good. good. Uh, nice. I I think you can do it better. I think she's right. Even tighter. Even yeah. tighter. Yeah, just, just you know you know take out those pauses. You know get things going. Get okay. the story moving. Okay. This okay. is not an exciting story. We need to see it get to it. It's don't have you know what I mean. Like, it was long. Don't. I mean okay. that's a little harsh. Just I don't. have fifteen seconds worth of material. Yeah. Yeah. Tighter is better. Okay. It's like I always say no. in the chat room. No. All right. Stop it. All right. Five, seven seconds. Go. Hey, hey another little monster. Moscow. 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 This is dirty oh, underwear. Oh, Beautiful Moscow. 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 You know, so uh, it's laundry. It's, it's Russia. Like, I don't want to see this scene all day. I want to go into the next scene. I want to know what's going to happen after the laundry's done. So, like, okay. what, like three seconds? Three, three seconds. seconds. Three, three seconds. seconds. Three seconds. seconds. Sounds good. Yeah, do it in three. Three. Okay. And go. Hey, Dirty go. underwear. Oh, Moscow. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Thank, Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. But. I oh. think we should shoot for the moon. Jeez. Let's shoot for the moon. Let's Absolutely. go for the pinnacle of efficiency. Blockbuster laundry, you know? I mean, this is... Yeah. Okay. Can you say one? One, one second. One second. <laughs> okay, yeah, one All second. Same thing. Breaking the laws of physics. <laughs> Patrick Pony. Patrick Pony. One second. And... Go! Last game! Hold on, hold on. Hold on. We're done. That's good. We're done. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Okay. Well done. Okay. Okay. Come on, around. Uh, I think we. Yeah, we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You, you know I haven't played this game before, right? Well, that's fine. I haven't either. Okay, great. But you're the one who has to do the uh, burden of the creative impulses on you. This is a game called Pocket Phrases. I have magic in my pocket. In this case, it's a bunch of phrases. 
And uh, what we're going to do is do a scene where Christian has to justify what it is I'm saying to him. I've got your same scenario from the people online. Oh, Yay! good! Let's take what the internet tells us. That's going to lead to a wonderful, clean, it's always true. Wholesome Everyone knows scene. That. What is uh, our suggestion? A tour of a haunted house. The tour of a haunted house. Okay. That's a good right. suggestion. That's pretty good. Thanks, guys. Good on you, internet. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Makes up for the whole Reddit thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Uh, is, this, is this where the, the tour is? <laughs> this is why I never eat Thai food. <laughs> now, if you come down uh, the main corridor here, and you look up, and take a look at the fresco you see here. Oh, right. wow. Yes, now you see, this was when the Lord of the Manor took aside his lady love and uh -huh. said to her, You do, and you clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, I think I remember something about the legend. That was, uh, that was right before the murder. And then afterwards, he stood over the body and he said, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Diddly -dee. <laughs> Indeed, and it is said that on nights such as this, when the hour of her murder comes above, mm -hmm. you hear the clock tower chime. The wind whistles through the willows, which is amazing, because the trees outside are actually beaches. <laughs> and you can hear her voice say, Why does this always happen when I'm with you? Which is spookily appropriate. <laughs> yes, I am not going to disagree. You know, as a very wise man once told me, to every season, turn, turn, turn. It's excellent. Oh. Now let us turn to the main <laughs> corridor here, okay. which you can see, uh, if you look at the oh, dark... Is this is spooky. This is spooky. Well, you see this darker spooky. stained spot on uh, the hardwood, yes? Uh, yeah. I this did. is where the dogs dragged her. So this is this is blood? Well, it's not blood itself. It's the uh, leftover stains from the blood. But <laughs> it is said that on certain nights like this, the blood will form letters and spell out, yes, spell out the secret message, which right. is, the secret is in the pudding. <laughs> this, of course, takes us to the kitchen. Now, if we come over here... Wow, notice. that is a that is a big picture of Bill Cosby. Mm -hmm. it? yeah. I know, it's kind of scary, isn't it? it more, the so, eyes, more so recently. How the eyes follow you oh. and seem to look into your soul. Isn't that creepy? Yeah. yeah, it's like his eyes are asking me how old I am. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Too soon. I'm hearing the voices now. They're, they're, they're saying... You were adopted. <laughs> <laughs> now these, these over are, and over again. The ghosts of this house really get with the psychological Ooh. damage. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, here in the kitchen, under the under the hypnotic gaze of Bill Cosby, uh -huh. this is where he got rid of the body on this butcher block. As he sang, supposedly, that haunting tune. Could I get a side of coleslaw with that? <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm sure you know. Let's, I love that song. Let's sing it together. <laughs> All right. I'll lead off. In your face, clown. <laughs> I think it'd be better if we were just friends. <laughs> <laughs> There's a snake in my boot. Pass me the salt and pepper. Hey! <laughs> that Isn't that great? So good. All right, now we're almost to the capper of the tour. Uh-huh. All right, so we've gone through the uh, place where it happened, the dragging. And right, 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 the butcher block. The butcher block. Okay. And then, of course, here we are in the main ballroom where he fed her to their children. That is <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> On Mother's Day, tie-in. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, when the children had eaten up the lovely soup and then thought it was delicious, they said, does this fat suit make me look fat? <laughs> <laughs> to which he replied, yes. That's the tour. That's amazing. So mm -hmm. what, what do I owe you for this? This was this was a really small house. <laughs> <laughs> what do you owe me? Yeah, nothing. Except dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's seventeen fifty. <laughs> okay, well, I, I, I gotta tell you, uh, well, let them eat cake. <laughs> <laughs> it was a sad state of affairs, but our most Cohesive scene, comprehensible scene, was provided ahead of time by crazy folks like you. <laughs> it's sad. It's sad. So, uh, we here at Hat Trick Calling are all about telling stories. Obviously. That's what, that's what we do. So we spend our days just telling stories all the day. Pete's having a real job. What's a story that you've heard over and over again? A famous story. If you don't give us one... Have some from the intertubes. Ah, <laughs> oh, the intertubes. Tell me. Okay, so there's three options. 
Little Red Riding Hood, That's uh -huh. a good one. Like Hansel it. and Gretel, uh -huh. mm -hmm. or Rumpelstiltskin. Whoa. Mm. What forum were you getting these from? <laughs> Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Raise your hands for Little Red Riding Hood. Red tube. Raise your hands for Rumpelstiltskin. And raise your hands for Hansel and Gretel. Come on, don't be split. Okay, two to one. There, we're doing that. <laughs> Thank you for not voting. You are you are in body with the American. Where are you guys? Rumpelstiltskin. 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 Now, uh, everybody knows how that goes, right? Yeah, it's the guy who spun straw into gold because of the children and yeah, the girl who wanted to marry the prince. Great, you can tell the story. No. No, no, you're good. You, <laughs> no, you can tell it first. No, I'm... Yeah, we'll tell together. You tell together. Okay. And everybody can act stuff sure, out. Sure, sure. Yeah, okay, okay. Story. I'm just I wish to be the princess. I had a late dinner, actually. Not Did you guys good. still all eat together? Yeah. Yeah. At Palma. Yeah, that New Mexican place. Mm -hmm. That's like next door. It wasn't New Mexican food. It was Mexican food. Whatever you want to call it, it was. It left a <laughs> mark. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it did, we got to do Hansel and Gretel. Oh. What? Uh, <laughs> Hansel and Gretel, I thought we were doing Rumble Still. Oh, what is that? Oh. That was me! That was me! Yeah, I got a, I got a, That's uh, not cool, babe. Oh, oh, Chris, are you okay? Chris? Chris? Oh, oh. oh I had what Chris had. Oh. Really? Damn you, tacos! I had a bite of it, but I didn't eat the whole thing. Oh. Oh, I farted. I'm feeling better. And then what? What? Once a... We're contractually obligated to do a show with the girl, or not. So you're just standing really close. All right, um, just move them, and then they'll be part of the scene. We can do it. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Hansel and Gretel, as performed by Dead Actors Studio. <clears throat> Once upon a time in was it Germany? In Germany. In Germany. Once upon a time in the magical land of Germany, there lived a beautiful lady. I'm a lady who is so beautiful. Oh, look at how beautiful I am! And she was the daughter of a. Uh, drug dealer. A drug dealer! She was the daughter of a drug dealer by the name of Pookie. Hey, get back to dealing those drugs. Well, I guess I could get back to dealing drugs, even though that's morally reprehensible. But there are all those boys out there who keep hitting on me. Because I'm so beautiful. <laughs> you are my daughter. And you will do as I say. Well, fine. Okay, I'm going to work now. Okay, I'll go to work too. <laughs> ah. Um, I, I know what drug dealers do. I never dealt drugs. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, let me let me set her down. Um. Okay. So so now. He has to get pissed off that she's seeing boys, and then he has to lock her away. No, so, that's not... That, right? That's Rapunzel. Well, crap. Well, then what's Rumpelstiltskin? Rumpelstiltskin's about the girl who's very right. beautiful, right? Yeah. And then the king loves her, but he thinks she can spin strong to gold, but she can't spin So now we need gold. a king to oh. go get drugs. What? Right? Because she's dealing drugs. The king has to go you get drugs. You said drug dealer. I went with it. King! Okay. Oh, I could use me some smack. Yeah, let me walk over uh, and get some smack. Brum. Oh, look. Hey. No, we gotta do the, we gotta do the drug dealer handshake. I saw, oh. I saw, okay. I saw a cop. They're like, they, they walk by each other, right? Okay. And they pretend to shake hands. Okay. But they like exchange stuff. There's like, there's things going on in the pocket. And then they're like, uh, all right. And then, but nonchalant. nonchalant. Oh, all right, right. Real cool. So what does the king do once he gets the drugs? Um, he walks by. Well, uh, what's her name? Okay, the beautiful maiden. What's her name? Hey, uh, um, Lily. I like it. Lily. So, Lily. And then, and then he says, and then he's taking the drugs. 
So that's when he gets the impression that she can turn straw into gold because he's high and he doesn't know better. Ugh. Hey, lady! Woo! I am on illegal drugs that kids should not use. What are you doing? Hey. Oh my God! You can turn straw into gold. What? How amazing! What? No. No, no, I can't turn stone to gold. I... Guards! Get this lady to my tower! No, I need the, I need you. I need your help with this one. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh. 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 Is he the guard? Yeah, the he's the guard. The end of jailer. He's anyone who's big. Okay, well, who's this? Okay. You are going to jail. No! Yes! <laughs> Does she have Yeah. Okay! We're gonna lock you away, uh, until when, your highness? Until you can turn straw into gold and this smack wears off. Or both. Or neither. I don't know. Where's my leopard? Okay. Uh, oh, my daughter! I'm gonna miss you! But I'm also gonna keep dealing drugs. I'm a terrible human being. Bye-bye. Okay, daddy. Okay, so she gets locked in a tower. Right. Okay, so she's in a tower, and then she, there's all this straw, and she can't spin it into gold. And, and then she's crying. She's this, crying. Uh, and then this repulsive gnome shows up. I mean, he is ugly. Oh. Good choice. And short, and just, just nebbish would be a good word to describe yeah. him, I think. <laughs> and then, so he shows up, and he's like, What's wrong, young lady? Well, yesterday I was selling smack, and some guy came up to me and locked me in this tower and told me I had to turn straw into gold. Ah! Well, as you may know, I am someone, and I can turn straw into gold for you. Okay. <laughs> now, from what I hear, the king's gonna kill you if you don't fulfill his demand. If I turn straw into gold for you, you have to marry me. Uh, no? Unless you can guess my name. You only get three guesses, and if you get them all wrong, you have to marry me, but I will turn the straw into gold for you so you can actually live. Okay, so do that. All right. I will turn straw into gold for you tonight, and then at the end, you can try to guess my name. <laughs> straw into gold. What's my name? Hmm. Let me see. <laughs> Is it Chad? No! I will now disappear in a puff of smoke! Puff! Voila! It's very acrobatic, this disappearance in a puff of smoke. Yeah! There we go. Okay. Okay, so the next night... Uh, uh, no, then the king shows up in the morning. Hey! I'm on a new drug now. Whoa! My reign is gonna be short. Hey! King! King! Yeah! I just What's up, to see the lady. I've seen the lady. She's made the straw into gold, Master. Well, crap! That is awesome! I'm gonna be richer than richer than rich. Uh, King? Um, yeah! Uh, are you holding? Oh, heck yeah I am! Come on over here and do something illegal and damaging to your long-term health. Come on! Okay! This is so a good okay, idea! Here, come. I swear! Sorry, I love come. contributing to the delinquency of minors! Alright. And then, uh... And then they go off, and then... And then oh, the uh, film scene comes back! And if you don't make more straw and gold, I'll kill you! Okay. And then... And then the ugly little gnome comes back, and he says, So! How's that to whole being locked up by the king thing going for you? This is bullshit. <laughs> okay. Seriously! So, oh, you made that straw into the gold, and then the king came, and he was like, he's like, That is awesome gold. Make some more, or I'll kill you. Alright, well, is the deal still on? Um, so you make gold and I guess your name? 
Yes! And you don't die if you get the gold, because the king doesn't kill you. That, that sounds stupid. Well, okay, I can let you get Okay, I'll do it! All right! Sarah is gold! Wow! Gold. That's magical! I gold. Love so much gold! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about the gold! So oh you made the shit, gold. the gold! Uh, you made the gold, um... Do I have to guess your name? Yes! Is it Chad? <laughs> no! <laughs> Wait. Seriously? Seriously? What? Never mind! I will now disappear in a much more acrobatic puff of smoke than I did last time! Food poisoning. 
packs. Yeah. Yeah, it's in packs. Yeah, it's on the... Uh, Holy like crap, the audience reproduced. Yeah, so they poured water on one of them, and now there's two more. I don't uh, know how right. Oh, sweet. Do you Hi, guys, how you doing? Sorry, Carrie, right. it was like... Wait a minute, are you from the internet? Uh, uh, we, we were invited by a friend. Oh. Yeah! Okay. All right. Well, we are glad you are here. It's such a pleasure. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I need two things for this seed. Yeah. One is a place you would not take your mother on Mother's Day and do not include any restaurants. Strip club. A strip club. And now I need a letter of the alphabet. G. G. We're now going to play a game with Christian and Coleman. The <laughs> alphabet game, starting with the letter G. Please the suggestion do. is for strip club. Boss can pop in whenever he wants. Come on. Oh, okay, never mind, it will be Christian and Chris. It is. What was it again? Alphabet game G Strip Club. G Strip Club. <laughs> you going first or not? G String! <laughs> How much do you love strip clubs? I don't know! Just ten minutes ago, we were sitting in a cubicle trying to get people to buy magazine subscriptions, and now, now look where we are. Kit! Kent. <laughs> Look at this. Who, who is this guy? Uh, Monique. His name's Monique? Not sure why. Ha! <laughs> uh, probably a long story. We can ask him later. Queen Latifah used to come to this trip club. Really? Sometimes I make them tell. <laughs> totally makes sense that you said that. Uh, I don't know if really this is my scene, I'll be honest. Uh, Vamoose is always an option. Well, I think it's a great <laughs> idea. Yep. <laughs> Zach, I've always wondered. Why do people come to strip clubs? Apparently, it's to see the naked dude dancing on the pole. <laughs> Barry? <laughs> Can I just point out that earlier we thought his name was Monique? Different guy. <laughs> Elephantitis. The <laughs> <laughs> <A> show. <laughs> Good job, Barry! And that was the whole alphabet. <laughs> Almost. Not even Almost. Like exactly what letter do we miss? <laughs> exactly. Uh, I see what you're doing there. Uh, could I get a suggestion for an everyday activity that you may or may not do with your mom involving something inside the house? Foosball. Foosball. Excellent. Foosball. All right. The suggestion is foosball that you would play with your mom or otherwise do some fun stuff with. All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the International Slow Motion Foosball Championships. I'm Talkie Guy. And I'm Toast McGoats. And here we are tonight. We have Coleman versus Dracula's mom from an earlier scene. <laughs> now, as you know, in these super slow-mo competitions, we take a normal mundane activity, activate the super slow-mo jumbo machine, and let nature take its course. What do we have uh, on tap for these two competitors tonight? Well, I think we're going to have an exciting evening. Coleman has youth and speed on his side and was raised by the international foosball champion, Dr. Pele. <laughs> so he learned from an early age how to head that ball with foosball characters. Very difficult to do. On the other end, we have Dracula's mother, who, given the gift of undeath by her son, has been alive and playing foosball for over 300 years. And the game of foosball only 70 years old, which makes that an amazing accomplishment. Absolutely. Some say she invented it. <laughs> Though some were dead, found drained of blood in low graves. Yes, under in no way mysterious circumstances. That's what I've heard. And it looks like we're getting the signal, looking for the signal from the referees coming out to inspect the balls, to inspect the rods, make sure that the requisite number of players are on both sides, and of course to explain the rules and make sure, uh, well, what's this? Looks like Dracula's mom uh, maybe playing a bit with the ref here. I, I, the... I think she's removing a bit of ketchup from his cheek. Oh, I see. Is that ketchup or? It's best not to ask too closely. All right. I think the games are about to begin. We've gotten the go ahead. All right. And here we are. Let's activate the super slow motion machine. 
and the ball is eventually off. All right. Now notice the grip that Coleman uses. It's a single twist. He does not do the full spin. He has one hand always on the goalie, even as he shifts his left hand to the offensive line, the strikers, and the back defensive line. He keeps one hand on the goalie at all times. He's very defense-oriented. This is very interesting. It looks like Dracula's mom is reaching around the table. Uh, first time we've seen a reach around in this competition, uh, and is... I can't really, is she, she I believe to she be, is manipulating the opponent's rod that controls their strikers. It seems to be, yes, the, her striker, uh, Coleman's strikers are now upside down, uh, floating head down above the goal posts. Coleman, bouncing the ball back and forth, is uh, passing it to his, to his uh, goalie. It looks like he's eventually taking a shot from here. And, and it's going through, and, oh, Dracula's mom pulls at the last minute on her own goalie. Knocking the ball over, up, it's in the air, it lands on his goalie's head, and back into Coleman's goal. The first point is scored by Dracula's mom in a move that nearly defies physics. What an amazing loan goal. All right, now the ball will be reset for another point. This game, of course, going to first death or two points. Whichever which, happens first. Which was first death, so we'll ignore that part and go on to whoever scores two points first. All right, fantastic. And the ball is off. And, oh, Dracula's mom is really owning this. Okay, then she's she... making a move over. She is... She just severed his hamstring. <laughs> he is now having trouble oh. standing and wearing pants at the same time. A very interesting move. Not specifically illegal by the International Football <coughs> Championship. Uh, there actually... she goes. Oh, she's grabbing a good chunk of that thigh and pulling it out. And she is re-energizing in the middle of the match. She will now have superhuman strength That's incredible. for at least four minutes. And let's talk about Coleman's form and uh, passion under pressure here, that he's able to maintain both hands on the foosball sticks. I'm guessing he's got maybe 30 seconds before he bleeds out from that femoral hemorrhage. But uh, he is not letting go. And look at this. He's going for a goal shot. Oh, he's going in. And she's pulling with her super strength. And she overcalculates. It goes in. We have a tie game. Well, going into the last point. Last point in the last 15 seconds of Coleman's conscious life. All right. And the referee slips on the blood. The ball is in play. The ball is in play. It lands among the midfielders in that little spot where no one can touch it. I freaking hate that. Everyone freaking hates that. Wait, so, Dracula's mom. Look, look at the concentration. Look at the concentration. With her mind, she is moving the ball. It is floating in the air. It is moving towards Coleman's goal. Coleman is seeing stars. He is passing out. It goes in the goal, and Coleman dies. That is a clear victory for Dracula's mother. Clearly, what not. This we chalk this up to uh, fatality, which again she holds the record for in international football play. I believe, according to the rules, she is now allowed to reach into his chest pull out his heart, and eat it in front of his own mother. A finishing move we first saw in Helsinki in 86. That's right. That was quite the game. That's right, going in for the heart. And let's move it out to normal speed. <laughs> and that's right. You can see there's still blood coming out of the aorta in a cascade of... Uh, uh, it's kind of like a fountain. It is kind of like a fountain. She is correct. The most she remarkable. has a way with words, teeth, and... Removed body parts. And I think that the most amazing thing about that victory is that the scene is still going on <laughs> after we've passed several points at which we could have happily wrapped it up. <laughs> yes, we could have. Yeah. So we want to thank you for joining us tonight on Slow Motion Commentary Foosball Deathmatch. I don't know about this. Hey, you've never had a problem with it before. It's the middle of the day. You can't do this kind of thing in the middle of the day. Would you rather do it in the middle of the night? Yes! Seriously? Think about it. No one can see you. Oh. You have a point. I try to have a point. We can always reschedule. I don't know. You didn't, you didn't tell anyone, did you? Well, I, no, of course I wouldn't. I wouldn't tell anyone. Okay, I, I, um... Are they coming? That's how I told, I told Coleman. Oh, come no, on! No, it was just Coleman. He promised he wouldn't tell everybody. Okay. Sure. He said... He's like 12. Okay. I don't know if you could trust him. Dude, he's like... 19. Seriously? I don't know. Wow. He promised he wouldn't say a word. We are getting older. This is our secret. 
Oh, you made it! Awesome. Awesome. Right. Yeah, cool. cool. Thanks, okay. man. Steve, hi. Good to see you. Hey, hey, this is gonna be great. Yes. Yeah, really excited great. about this. Hey, I got a tweet that I was supposed to be here from Coleman. <laughs> That's coincidence. Yeah, couldn't have seen that coming at all. A millennial with technology. <laughs> hey guys, Coleman says he's running late. Yeah, okay. Matt. Oh, wait, everyone? Yeah. Hey, this is this is this is our, your big moment. It's our big moment. It's kind of unclear we, on what the whole thing was. Yeah, we've been talking about doing this for years. No, don't worry, it's gonna be great. I, it's, but it's, it's in the middle of the day. And there's people too. Like I it's I'm embarrassed. It's okay. Alright guys! Uh, I brought the keg! Awesome. Do you know where I can fill it up? Uh, <laughs> you didn't fill it up before You're we got here? To... I was told there was going to be beer! Classic well, Nathan. Oh uh, man, how are we going to get beer? The... It's the middle of the day! We can just go to the bar. That's true, they still live there. They're open. I'm huh? totally not 21. What are you talking about? You had your 30th birthday like two weeks ago. Yeah, we, we all... We, we made all you there. a cake. Are you really 20 and you said you were 30 just to get a 30 birthday cake and 30 shots on 30 shot night for 30? I make no excuses for my actions. I, well, I'm, not, well, I'm taking the cake over to the bar. Oh, hey, Poland, did you bring beer for the cake? Oh, no. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Who invited me? <laughs> I thought you did. I thought you did. I didn't invite anybody but you. I told you about it. Oh. I actually specifically said don't show up. Okay. Hey, Coleman. Well, we're going to have to do it anyway. Well, I mean, Chris, come on. I, look, just like we practice, I, I look, guess. the only way that we are going to become the world's best fire dancers is if we practice, right? I, yeah, but I mean, like, I didn't even break the But it's the one. middle of the day. I know. Yeah. Like, okay. Well, now you got an audience. Yeah. We've, yeah. We've been going through this. Let's see some routine. fire dancing. It's really good. It is less impressive during the day because okay. it's not the sole source start with of the, light. Right. Yeah. I'm going to start the same way we always start. Yeah. With the lighter. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh. <laughs> is he? Is, is he supposed to No, no, no. We, we've been practicing at home. Maybe Don't we're not the. Don't question them that. They're, they're yes. professional. You know, never heard of fire dancing? I, All right, I, I we got invited it. to the fire dancing competition. <laughs> hey, you guys, fire dance for me! Okay. Why did Redneck did, Stevie did, did, or did, did, Billy or whatever the hell his name was? He's got like six names. We right. posted on the I'm course. Redneck Freddy. Okay, so I'm Redneck Stevie. From what I understand <laughs> from Wikipedia, fire dancing is where you cover a person in lighter fluid, you light it on fire, and they dance. <laughs> Not even close, but I don't want to miss no, it. No, that's all I'm right. Okay. Yeah. yeah! Burn, boy, burn! Hey, hey! Are you a liberal? Uh, I mean, more fiscally conservative, but socially liberal. Oh yeah, I'd love to see you burn. This will be great. Thanks, Redneck Freddy. <laughs> no. Uh, no, 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 I'm Freddy. Steve, Freddy. There you go. Uh, oh, okay. Delicious. In case. Okay. Anybody? I mean, yeah. Who brought matches? Anybody bring uh, matches? Oh yeah, I got a whole brick. I thought you hey. still smoked. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not gonna use a lighter on this. I mean, I'm kind of. Just... So what I'm this you're getting get, throwing the match at. Well, will you guys start the music. Oh, shit. Can I throw the match? Uh, no, I kind of forgot the boom box. I was <laughs> Do you thinking, beatbox? I was, I was Do you thinking beatbox? we could just acapella. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, okay, here we go. Wait, wait, wait. I got a banjo. Is anyone going to tell him that he's just playing the same? Just let him go. <laughs> just let him go. Okay. Let him dream. Let him dream. <laughs> let him dream. <laughs> Two step. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I think a fox trot would really benefit. That would be really nice. Well, let's yeah. talk about it during the break. Okay. The break. We'll come back after the break. We'll do like a whole dance routine with just Chris. You got to tend to those like birds yeah. too. That's okay. I'm a fast healer. I hope so. Yeah, no, you're gonna need it. <laughs> is this uh, is this where the first act ends? Yeah, I think so. Like, okay. right, this will probably. It'll be spot. like that game, dance, dance, or creationism. No, first act is over. Do Which one? Have, do we have any spare skin? Nope. Walk it off. Right. I'm good. Okay. We'll be back in ten minutes. All right. are between 0 and 18, because otherwise you're not a child, have I got an amazing product to sell to you tonight. It can spell, it can define, it can guess what words mean. It will take any word you can come up with, real, imaginary, in English or not English, in American or foreign, and it will tell you what that word means and how it is spelled, but not in that order. I give you the amazing Spelltron 3000. I know you would like to throw all of your yacht money at this, but first, let's prove to you that it works. The Speltron 3000, we'll start in English, as that is its default language. You're welcome, America. That's where you laugh. We'll start with English. Can I have an English word from the audience, please? Alpaca. Alpaca. Speltron 3000, the word is alpaca. 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 A. L. P. A. C. A. A. Alpaca. And could you please define alpaca? Alpaca. alpaca. Donkey. That. Looks. Like. You. <laughs> alpaca. And could you please use alpaca in a sentence? Alpaca. alpaca. Hey. Mom. You. Would. Like. My. Alpaca. It. Looks. Like. You. <laughs> alpaca. Tie in with the theme day. Let's have another word in English to prove I didn't just put that one word in it, which I totally did. Anti disestablishmentarianism. The longest word in the English language. Good one. Let's have anti disestablishmentarianism. Anti disestablishmentarianism. A N T I D S. Establishmentarianism. Disestablishmentarianism. <laughs> <laughs> and could you please define anti disestablishmentarianism? Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Gas. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. The amazing Spelltron 3000 can not only spell and define words in English, it can do it in other languages as well. Could I have a non-American language, please? German. German! I will install the German chip. (laughs) Could I please have, since you suggested German, a word in German? Scheidenfreude. Scheidenfreude. Speltron Dry Thousand. The word is Schadenfreude. Schadenfreude! C H A umlaut D N E F U R Saki. Schadenfreude! And could you please define Schadenfreude? Schadenfreude! Feeling like you need happy. <laughs> Schadenfreude! Close enough! Let's have another word in the German. Erdferkel. Erdferkel! Spell drawn droid thousand! The word is Erdferkel! Erdferkel! E R F R D I Erkel! Erdferkel! Und was meint Erdferkel? Erdferkel! That young man when he was dancing. <laughs> Excellent. Let's have another language. There are at least six more. <laughs> Klingon. Klingon. <laughs> oh, damn these Klingons. <laughs> 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 Spelltron three thousand is now in Klingon mode. Can I have a word in Klingon, please? <laughs> Go for it, honey. Spelltron 3000 Klingon. The word is go for it, honey! <laughs> go for it, honey! Go back! <laughs> go for it, honey! Could you please use go for it, honey, in a song? <laughs> go for it, honey! Would you like to die? Go for it, honey! <laughs> go for it, honey! Amazing! Could I have another word? 
Captain Klingon, please! Clock! Clock! Spelltron 3000, the word is clock! 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 K! Clock! <laughs> and could you please define clock? Clock! Clock! <laughs> clock! Amazing! Reset. <laughs> Do you know the Spelltron 3000 can spell and define words in English, not English, and even made up languages? It can also spell and define words that do not exist, yes, with its amazing neurolinguistic framework. It can pick apart the prefixes, suffixes, podcasts, and miniseries of all the different words, <laughs> recombine them, launder them through a Swiss bank account, and come up with definitions of words that do not exist. I am not shitting you! Give me a word that does not exist! Swellick. Swellick is what I heard. <laughs> I get told that a lot. Spelled right 3000, the word is Swellick. Swellick. S-W-E-L-L-D-I-C-K. Swellick. And would you please define Swellick? Swellick. The thing that you get when you see Nathan. <laughs> Swellick. Please, please, please. Use swell dick in a sentence. Swell dick. Oh, Nathan. <laughs> you need to see this. <laughs> it's my swell dick. That. <laughs> One. At. Circus. The amazing spell from 3000. in our troop are experts in very strange and esoteric fields. In fact, you could probably name a random field and one of us would be an expert in it. I'm going to present to you that expert talking about their field for 60 seconds, presented by a promotional company. So first, what do you think one of us might be an expert in? Can I give you a topic from the internet? Yeah. We will start with the audience and we'll go to a topic okay. from the internet because we have multiple experts. What was your... Uh... I said Falcon. Falconry. Excellent. As it turns out, Matt Banzo, already on the stage, is an expert in falconry. And so now, for 16 seconds, with brief promotional interruptions, Matt will talk to you about falconry. Falconry. The ancient Roman art of falcon precision jousting. They did it right! Roll! Dating back to the Second Punic War, which began when Hannibal crossed the Alps with his elephants and falcons who had a much easier time of it. Didn't think they could do that, did you, Hannibal? The Carthaginians, who were shorter in stature, would ride on the backs of the falcons and plunge towards the Romans' eyes. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> I was the expert. You are. In fact, it was at the Battle of Cunae, where they killed 70,000 Romans in a double envelopment that they decided this is a thing that we should dress up with big-ass gloves. <laughs> big-ass gloves! We're holding our falcons, y'all. Ten more seconds. <laughs> falcons! Really huge gloves. I mean, we're talking a lot, not your gloves that come to here, Five. but like up to here. Because that's where the falcon, with a guy on its All back... All the way down, like you're checking a horse. And yeah. you're good. <laughs> Knowledge. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was 60 seconds of expert advice on falconry. Now let's take uh, expert suggestion from the audience to see if we have someone. Or sorry, from the internet audience. Ikea. To see if we have someone. Ikea. I believe we do have an Ikea expert out here. It is Steven. Of course it is. Yes. Steve is an expert on Ikea. He has studied their history and their furniture extensively. He will now give you a 60-second presentation on IKEA with promotional considerations. Thank you. IKEA, which we have a local store based out of Kent, is a place where we can buy furniture. Nothing's in Kent but IKEA! <laughs> yes. Uh, there was talk uh, last year to actually rename one of the major boulevards in Kent to be IKEA Boulevard, but there was an uprising of local stores because they would have to change their promotional activity to change their name if they were to change the streets because they would have to change their address. And put the signs together with tiny little pegs! Right. <laughs> 30 seconds. Now, it is possible 
to live in an IKEA because all of the rooms are already pre-set up. They give you an idea of what it looks like to help you and entice you to buy their furniture. That would look great in my bathroom! Yes. It is popular among college students because of this cheapness, and though it is quite sturdy and can sometimes survive four years or two years if you are living in a frat. Mmm, ramen and fake wood! Yes, five seconds. <laughs> you can find anything you want at IKEA. They, you can order online as well as get those spare parts when you lose your little Allen wrench. www.ikea.com. Thank you. <laughs> we have one more uh, expert tonight. We actually have an expert on hype, and that expert is the hype man. The hype man will now have sixty seconds talking about hype with non-promotional considerations in the middle. What is hype? I know the answer because I'm the expert. Hype is a concept. Hype is an idea. Hype is a manner in which you present something. Manner of presentation, y'all! What? Recognize. <laughs> it has its roots in advertising and hip-hop. I have my own hype man. You should have your own hype man. Transmedia representation! Recognize. <laughs> Hype can be applied in many different ways. For example, if you want a point to be made better, you simply hype it up. What? Hype it up. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> the job is very important. It seems easy. You just yell, it's don't you? Up. I mean, that's really all you're doing. But <clears throat> it is very, very specific yelling. Specific yelling, y'all. Gotta keep focused on the topic at hand. And that topic is... Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephen, as you may or may not know, can tell when you are not telling the truth. I study people in college. <laughs> We're going to do a scene for you, but as you know, actors sometimes push the truth. I'm a ninja. Sometimes they exaggerate a touch. I am six foot eight. Sometimes they outright lie. Lie. So during I'm this handsome. scene, when one of us tells something that may not be entirely true, Steve is going to call us out on it until we come up with the version of the truth that is actually the truth. We present to you our scene. We need a suggestion from you, though, before we begin the scene. What is a gift that you would give to your mother on Mother's Day after she has kicked you out of the house. <laughs> yes, one of those. Resentment. Resentment. <laughs> that the is the gift best that keeps on giving. We now have a scene for you based on resentment. Making pancakes? Oh, yes, dearie. Liar. Oh, well, it's a form of pancake. Liar. <laughs> Goulash, really. <laughs> Why is all those these like that? Well, you see, your father likes it that way. Liar. Well, you see, I like it that way. Liar. We're allergic to everything else. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Our only goulash family. <laughs> At least we're not gluten intolerant, huh? <laughs> well, the thing is about that, I was just recently diagnosed with gluten intolerance. Liar. I was diagnosed with diabetes. Liar. I wish I had more friends. <laughs> <laughs> I do too, Mom. Then you wouldn't sit home and flip goulash all day. <laughs> oh, the resentment's killing me. I know it is. Oh. You know, um, can we just skip breakfast today? I'm not really hungry. Liar. Can we just skip breakfast today? I have dysentery. Liar! Can we just skip breakfast today and just, you know, go straight to the line dancing? Well, line dancing? I haven't. I haven't done that in 20 years. Liar! I haven't done that since, since five to six years. Liar! Listen, let me tell you, last night your father and I had one hell of a line dancing session. I don't session. want to hear about the boot scootin' boogie again, Mom. Ooh -wee. That was some good goulash that night. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Not intolerant to that. I can't oh, begin sorry. to tell you how much that freaks me out. Uh, I can't begin to tell you how much that makes my heart hurt inside. Liar! I can't believe how much that turns me on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me either. 
<laughs> well, line dancing wasn't a go anyways. I miss you. I know. Liar. That's nice to hear. Liar. I wish your father did. <laughs> I'll finish the goulash. You better. are also in films. We are now going to do a scene from you. For you. Part of you. One of those things. From one of our movies. But I forget which movie it's from. It's It hasn't been released yet. Uh, the title of it. I forget what the title of the movie is. Do, does anyone remember what well, the title of our movie is? make up a title for a movie. What, uh, <laughs> does anyone remember what that is? I think it's the... the Titanic the, the the Musical. The oh Titanic the Musical, yes. All right, Titanic the Musical, that's what it was. So we're going to perform that scene. Right. Now, keep in mind, this is still a work in progress, so we'll present it to you, and we might we might do some tweaking in the middle. Uh, and as usual, Matt is our director for, oh, good. for Titanic <laughs> the Musical. All right, everyone. Uh, may, may cast on set, please. Me, me, me. Don't have Tony here today. He's been arrested for stabbing someone, so I'm going to... Again? Gonna... Again, so I'm gonna run uh, AD stuff myself. Set all! Actors to your ones. As you know, this is the big emotional climax of the scene, uh, which is the big emotional climax of the film, which is the thing that we're making so that we all get paid. So don't suck! Alright? Okay, what do, you mean by, what do you mean by climax, though? What I mean by climax is the emotional height. So we're feeling a lot. Listen, we have a limited wardrobe budget, okay? Okay. So just. We're feeling a lot, but nothing feeling a lot, feeling, yes. Well, I mean, aside from the water, whatever. So you have there, so we'll, we'll start with your aria. She joins you in. That's when you discover that uh, you didn't betray one another all along. Mm -hmm. okay. The letter was a forgery. Oh, this is the okay. scene where that comes out, right. right? You accept one another's love, and then, of course, this is all being uh, uh, done in the duet. Well, the drunk captain finally sees the iceberg, right? So it's the moment where you declare your love for one another, oh my god, the, 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 the letter wasn't true, and then we ratchet up the tension, ship into the iceberg, let's try it neutral. Okay, ready? And, uh, action! Line? Oh, Jesus, cut, okay. Who's on script? Oh, yeah, 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 sorry, 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 okay. sorry, 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 can I just get the first line? Try to get the first line of the emotional climax of the film. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> What's wrong with you? Okay, <laughs> all right, but, uh, but is, is it before the song? But yes! It okay. says say it in a loving and compassionate manner. Yes, all right, so Got let's try it, it again. And, action! Back to your one. Action! <clears throat> What's wrong with you? Wrong person! Cut! All right. Same direction. Okay. I'm killing him. I need you to help him through this. You, you may not have noticed, but he's terrible. Oh, I know this. Okay, right. So, anything you could do to mm. keep the focus on you, even though this is his scene okay. and his aria, keep the camera on you because I don't want the risk of it being on him. Okay. All right? Okay. All right? Cool. There's no stunts in this scene, right? Uh, well, do you think there should be? Uh, maybe. I'm just like, you know, I haven't, I've been warmed up physically yet. You know what? Go with what the, your heart tells you. Go with whatever stunts you want to. We'll just, we'll just, the camera's good. Uh, okay. direct, direct, director okay. Jones? Yeah. Director Jones, you, he mentioned stunts. If, if you want, we still have the ninjas on retainer. They could come out if you need stunts. What good are ninjas in a visual medium when you can't see them if they're any good? They're not very good, sir. Fine, then you lead with that. Ninjas, get in here. Right, so it's all about you. Do your stunts with the ninjas, but remember to say... Can I do my warm-ups? Warm I can't stop you from doing that. Union rules. Ha, ha, ha. Tweedle dee. International, right? I really need you to appeal to the German market. So act French and weak, all right? All right, actors, do your ones! 
okay? Me, me, and ma, 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 ma. action! <gasps> what is wrong with uh, you? I read the letter. I did too. I would hope so. You wrote it. Yes, I didn't write it for real. What? It was all. Then who wrote the letter? Let's go. Karate chop! Ow! Fuck! It's hot! <laughs> that was good, that was good. PG-13! thought we had the yeah. Christian. The guy hit me, the ninja he barely me. touched you. This was, this was the action scene. This was the action scene, this is the action scene. You can't swear on this, you're marvelous. Christian, you, you, you actually this? used up your quota on the F-bombs this show. Yeah, you are out of F-bombs, so if you swear again, that's coming out of your paycheck. And the ninjas get to punch you. That's just the rule. It's our job. It's man. just the rule. All right. We don't like doing it. Yeah, you guys use it. He said, "Fuck in the dressing room." So just like wail on him. Okay. okay. <laughs> All, right. All right. Treat him like a humpback. All right. Uh, this isn't working out so much. All right. So I'm going to replace you with a cardboard cutout of Chris <laughs> Odie, if that's cool. <laughs> sure. It is cool. All right. Can he hold my fan? I don't care. All right. <laughs> And action! What is wrong with you? I read the letter! I didn't write that letter. What? Let's make out. Okay! Karate chop! Ow! 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 Iceberg guy, you're back in. You're the male lead now. We're gonna do spider man kit. Uh, Ninja number two, take off your 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 hood. Oh, reveal. Okay. You are actually the hero in disguise this whole time. What? Ooh. I'm king of the world. Right. Now, ah. Body chop that iceberg. Oh. Take this, imposter. Ah. 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 Whoa. He saved the ship by kicking the iceberg. This is good. Keep improving. Keep improving. Good. 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 Uh, uh. Wow! <laughs> the only way to permanently defeat it is to throw the imposter overboard. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Guys, this oh, is good. Shit. This is the worst. Uh, 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 wow! He's a, he's a lot heavier than his skinny form would have appeared. <laughs> All right. And back and to the leading lady. Oh. I'll take command of the ship. I'm going to take command of this ship. You! I want you in the captain's quarters. Good. I just got all this saved ice. Oh, Martini. Okay, so now do we do the song? Uh, no, you're dead. Uh, you two finish up the song. Remember the song! Alright. Because we... the letter was love. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get oh. wardrobe? I think I pooped a little. Cut! Team. <laughs> Why am I always the one that has to kiss Nathan? Chris, we're He's done. Always... It's in your contract, sweetie. Oh, it's more time. Ladies and gentlemen, a scene from nothing. Oh gosh, dang it. How does everyone keep sneaking in here and shaving all my alpacas? <laughs> gosh, if only I knew some way to find this darn alpaca shaving. Now, has this ever happened to you? Someone sneaks into your yard and shaves all of your alpacas, stealing their wool and vital bodily fluids? Then you need alpaca lock from the makers of Llama Lock. Just listen to these testimonials. Listen, after I started using alpaca lock, I never had another issue. I don't know whether it was the horrendous smell, the disgusting taste, or how much my alpacas personally hated it, but man, I am making more money than I ever have off of my alpaca. More money than you've ever had off your alpaca with alpaca lock. Let's go live to the field where we can see alpaca lock in effect. Okay. Okay. Uh, come, come, come on. Come on. Uh, come on. Uh, come on. All right. Now no one's going to take you from me. And if they do, they get 400,000 volts of electricity coursing through their body. Plus they gave me the free gift of this, the alpaca bag. Don't know what it does, but the name was clever. Good boy. That's 400,000 volts of savings with the new alpaca lock. But don't trust me. Take these leading alpaca experts' words for it. 
Uh, here at the University of Yale, we've been doing a lot of studies on alpaca hair and the, and the effects of uh, alpaca lock on alpaca hair. And we can say it's darn good. Darn good. I would use alpaca lock on my own alpacas. Yeah, if, if the university paid me enough money to have property. <laughs> Random celebrity! <laughs> Back in the early 1980s, I was on a hit sitcom as a child star. I can tell you about it with my catchphrase. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> alpaca lock. <laughs> That's right, alpaca lock. Just four easy payments of $29.99, or one easy payment of $856.99. That's four easy payments of $24.99, or euros. Use those as well at the conversion rate of $79.99 for only $12.99. <laughs> alpaca lock. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> No, it's fantastic. Sometimes practices get really bizarre. So, we here at Hatrick Pony, we love movies. We like to make movies, we like to watch movies, we like to talk about movies in our spare time. Uh, but everybody has their own kind of opinions on what their favorite kind of movie is. What's your favorite kind of movie? Superheroes. You like superhero movies? I'm a big fan of superhero movies, too. So, we are going to do, tonight, an entire superhero movie for you. Sweet. Now, we've all seen superhero movies, I assume, right? Everybody's probably at least seen or been forced to watch at least one of these films that's been out in the last 15 years. Uh, so, some, we see some things in these movies over and over and over again. Um, we call them tropes. What are some tropes we find from superhero movies? Damsel in distress. There's always, yes, there's always, the, there's always the damsel in distress, which we have abbreviated to did... We all saw Hercules, right? Hmm? Yeah, oh yeah, totally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, super, super powers, I guess, is going to be yeah. a big part yeah, of it, right? Power, yeah. A villain? A villain, yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. a villain. Uh, what, what else? What else is some superhero movies? Fight scene. Fight scene. There's always a fight scene. There's always a few fight scenes. Oh, the, the first fight scene where he first meets the villain and gets his butt kicked yeah. by the villain? The, the, yeah. the mentor figure who at first disapproves but later comes around to believe in him. Ah, uh, yes. How about uh, uh, Minions? Minions. There's yeah, always sometimes, minions. Sometimes, sometimes, yeah. Secret identities. Oh, a super villain. Yeah. Like, I'm like five behind. things behind. Okay. <laughs> costumes. There's always, costumes. There's always a costume. No kicks. No kicks. Training montage. A training montage. Huh, huh, yes. Yep. Yep. What else we got? We radioactive got stuff. Radioactive oh, yeah. stuff. <laughs> Poor science. Yeah. <laughs> Very bad science. <laughs> bad science. Weapons of power. Oh yes, a, 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 a weapon of mighty power. It's our Mag the MacGuffins in those movies are almost always like an item of mighty power. Super villains. Okay, really, Chris? <laughs> Shut up, Chad. <laughs> Capes. Chad. A dastardly plan. Oh, a dastardly. A dastardly plan. Yeah, 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 yeah. But with dastardly. In. How many you got there? Count them up. We got one, two, three, Oh, the best five, friend. Seven, oh, yeah, the best friend. Sidekicks. Sometimes. Sidekick. That's 15. Oh, the utter destruction of a city. We did? Yeah. The utter destruction of a city. At least the threat of it. The threat of it. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. City in peril. Tight shorts. I like that one. <laughs> Tight shorts. That's what? 19. 19, we need one more. One more something that's in every superhero movie we've seen. A guest appearance by Stan Lee. A guest <laughs> appearance no, by Stan Lee. One-liners. One-liners. And Stan Lee. We're doing them all. All right, all right we're doing them all. <laughs> Our scene can legally drink. <laughs> that's right. They're going to need it to get through it. <laughs> what do you mean, they? This is an all play. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we call this scene Double Double Feature. We are going to perform the greatest superhero movie of all time right here on this stage tonight. And we're going to do it by using every single one of these tropes. Now, until we have used every single one of these tropes, the scene is not over. We are getting to the end of this movie, and all that stuff is getting done. That is our guarantee to you. The Hat Trick Pony guarantee. <clears throat> but Christian, we need a name for our movie. Oh, you're right. 
every superhero movie has a great name. Or and it's really usually named after name. the superhero the first time. That's true. That's, That's true. true. So what we need is the name of a superhero that does not currently exist. We do have an alpaca thing going on. We do have an alpaca thing going on. That's true. Alpaca man? Alpaca him deep. Alpaca man. Alpaca. <laughs> Alpaca. Okay. Yeah. Alpaca <laughs> Oh, it's also other state, Mother Packer. <laughs> that is absolutely inappropriate. <laughs> Call me Alpaca. So, Alpaca Man? Captain Alpaca? Captain Alpaca. Dr. Alpaca? I think Captain's good. Captain Alpaca. Alpaca time! <laughs> okay, well, Alpaca. what kind of, what kind of power is... Alpaca to the future. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Spitting. He's spitting. Okay, so, his superpowers is that he has this. Alpaca <laughs> spitting. Alpaca spit. Yeah, the Al Green Bay Alpacas. Shut up. Oh, and he has no re <laughs> great resistance to low and high temperatures. Yeah. Cold resistance five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. yeah. We're all nerds here. Sorry, that's just how it goes. A six alpaca. <laughs> well, let's wait till alpaca two. Okay. Okay. We've all right. Through all of those. Oh yeah, we need a fictional city. Oh. Because these things never happen in real cities. It's always like Gotham or Metropolis. Pacoma! Pacoma! <laughs> <laughs> All right! <laughs> the crime drenched streets of Pacoma. <laughs> Tearing label off of mattress! <laughs> Yes, crime is up. Someday I, Baldor, will rule this city. <laughs> Minions, assemble! Whoa, 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 way too much hair. Get out of here. You're not. Ah, oh, you're a perfect minion. You, you too. Your hair's short enough to be my minion. Okay. Minions. Yeah. One day I, Baldor, will rule this city. Baldor! We've read the mission statement. Excellent! Did you read all of our visions and values statements? I kind of scummed it. I read the part where we found that we got jumpsuits. We got the jumpsuits! Very soon, but first, I must tell you of my master plan. I will remove all of the hair from Pacoma. Because you're called Baldor! That's right! And I have a deep-seated jealousy of people with hair. Fuck her, fuck him, fuck those people, fuck all of you. Back up, Mom. okay. Yes. But he doesn't mean it! Baldo! Thank you! Baldo! That is my cunning evil plan, is to steal all of the hair in Pacoma. Then what are you going to do after you steal the hair, Baldo? Yes, yes, Baldo! I'm going to shave Disneyland! <laughs> <laughs> You're the greatest boss, Albus Dumb Baldo! <laughs> There's a great evilness, as if someone named Baldor is trying to make everyone bald. Look at that! It's a bald alpaca! I mean, a... Oh, man! Oh, man! Oh, my Morning, leg. ladies and gentlemen, and point defiantly, radioactive alpacas have escaped. Radioactive alpacas have escaped. Oh, we should Please leave the park. Oh, we should have led with that. Sorry. Oh <laughs> my goodness! I think I'm becoming an alpaca too. What? Oh, if only someone won't shave me. Don't let them shave me. Uh, okay, Sam. I got. I got this. No uh, shaving. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, at City Hall. 
I am also talking. Uh, 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 so, so, uh, Commissioner Man, yes. Have you heard the latest crime report? <laughs> Train him to use his newfound abilities. Okay. Come! Sit! Sit! <clears throat> if you can understand what I am saying, spit once. Oh, shh. <laughs> I need you to understand what has happened to you. Search deep into yourself. Learn to control your new abilities. You've been bitten by a radioactive alpaca, but it has given you great power. You must learn to hone that power to turn back into man form once again and claim yeah. your rightful place! Yeah. Did you see that velocity in which that spit left his body? It put a hole right in the wall! You okay? I am reborn. As Alpaca Man, Captain Alpaca Man, Captain Alpaca, Captain Alpaca, I'm calling it on that one. That's what I'm calling myself. I am the Chief of Police, I dub you a Captain. Thank you. <laughs> well, that was awful good luck. <laughs> this is actually the Chief's shack. Oh, yeah. Oh, so you, oh, you guys know each other well then. We're lovers. Good, good. Well, I'm off to save uh, Pat Coma. Do it. Thank you for all your help, boys. No problem. I won't forget you. Okay. I, mean, I might. It's just... It's honey! Honey! Are you training again? If you remember to montage, you always forget to oh, montage. Oh, right, right. We have to teach you how to use your... Why would you the montage train. anymore? The train. I'm well, so no, sorry. No, so we got together, you okay. used to montage. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, okay. okay. Uh, Anytime okay. I wanted to montage, okay. you montage. Okay, uh, you, you, you got it, Mom. Sorry. I love you, Mom. All the good songs about montages were already done. All the good songs about montages were there in the sun. Do a bunch of stops. 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 Man, it's really hard with all this mutant that back of hair on my body. Or maybe oh, go out I hope I can still get a woman out of this. Okay. No one gets in through these three-hour builds. What? No Your training is complete. Good. That was a good three-minute training. Yep. yep. <laughs> all right. Hey, I've simulated Sam. a lot more time. Oh, yeah. Sam? Yeah? I'm really proud of the man that you've become. So, while you've been doing your training montage, I made you an alpaca suit. It's really hairy. I'm gonna be really, really warm in this. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, good. It's like a gown thing. That's nice. <laughs> All right. Well, now I think I'm ready to save Pat Coma. Go stop evil. I'm doing it. Oh, wait. Oh, that's going to be uh, let's see, $30 oh. for training session. God, I think okay. that that montage probably simulated probably uh, four or five training sessions. Wow, that much. Huh? Well, you know, superheroing uh, doesn't, doesn't really come No, out. I get it. I mean, okay. i got to be the chief of police for God's sake. He's yeah. very, very picky. He drives you all the crazy. Meanwhile, at City Hall. <laughs> Crime! Ah, yes! We have shaved almost every head in the city! <laughs> almost? Almost! There are still <laughs> Ah, yes, thank you. And with all of that hair,
there I can now create the <laughs> secret weapon of power, the Heralizer, which will make no one's hair grow ever again. What do you think, Baldor? Ah. My brother's gonna take you down. Look at all that hair she has. Capture her. Her hair will be the final ingredient. None shall harm her. Not when Captain Alpaca is here. Look at what? Look at all that fur! He's actually got a badge! He's like, totally a police captain! Yeah, he's legit! Captain <laughs> Alpaca! That doesn't mean anything! Get You're genius. stupid! Baldor! <laughs> oh! 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 Spit! Yes! yes. We call that the two birds and one stone loom! Oh. Is <laughs> that right. all you have? Ah! Go ahead! Bring it! <laughs> Just, okay, you ever been bitten by a radioactive alpaca, alpaca and you think to yourself, God, it'd be a great idea to save Pacoma, but then you just end up fighting the main bad guy, and you get your ass kicked, like, really hard, plus I'm in this stupid gown, it's just not, that life is not going that well for me right now, man, alright, so if you're gonna comment on how androgynous I look in this thing, I don't wanna hear nothing about it, so I'm an alpaca. I don't think we care that much about gender. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you should mention that. Now, while I haven't been bitten by radioactive alpaca, I have been bitten by radioactive love. <laughs> <laughs> the most powerful kind of radiation. The love club. It bit me right in the butt. So I have the power. I found it. Okay. After my montage training sequence. No, my ears are open. Yes. Okay. That I can find. Yeah. Two people. What? Draw them together. Okay. And make them fall in love. That's exactly what I need right now. You need a sign. That's not, right now. <laughs> what do you say? You wanna you wanna stick it to that bald headed bastard? Yes! Great! Let's go save my sister and f make love happen. Yes! So how exactly are we gonna do that? Carefully! Oh, oh okay. Uh, Meanwhile, in the secret lair. Ah! Yes, minions, tie her to that chair. Good job, that was fast. Uh, sorry, I'm late. No one told me where the secret lair was. What do you mean, no one told you where the secret lair it's is? It's not even on Google Earth, Baldur. Well, of course it's not. It's your grandmother's basement. I know. Oh, well, you which grandmother? I was over in Spokane. Wrong grandmother, the other grandmother! Well, I know that now! On the Harrison that's, side! That's the one that makes tea cake! Oh, I love tea cake! The bottle! Yes, get me tea cake! Okay, there they are, right over the ridge, alright? Now, here, oh, put, they... this, put this tight shirt on, alright? Oh. That way they won't see you as easily, somehow. I'll put these tight shorts on as well. Yeah, great. <laughs> that, that'll definitely cross something else off the list. Awesome. Alright. Alright, now, my plan is. Those minions seem to be really weak against my loonies, all right? Ah. But that guy has a crow. Like oh. a crow dome. Yeah, no, high-tech stuff. The moonlight reflects on the so. Now somehow, we need to use the power of love to stop them. And my spit. I have an idea. We spit some on the ground when we get there. Okay, you take out the minions. I'll hit the ball door. Let's do it! Oh, we go out Stop How did you get in the basement? We use the cellar door! Ha! I left it open, I'm sorry, my bad! Sorry, Baldor! <laughs> oh! A reflection shot! Oh dear! Baldor, you see your reflection in the loogie soul. How nice it looks! 
Yes. Seeing your own reflection. Yes. Oh, Ooh, I look a little like Vincent D'Onofrio in the new Daredevil series. Yes. So big and strong. The moonlight reflects off your own chrome dome <laughs> into the reflection. <laughs> how beautiful it looks. I am you are attracted to yourself. Oh, oh, my oh, my oh, 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 Quick, use your love to distract him while I take his chrome dome off. <laughs> love yourself, Baldur, love yes. yourself. All right, I will. Love yourself. Okay, okay, let's take this chrome dome oh, off. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Uh, that's actual <laughs> bad. Ah. Ah. Oh, oh, my goodness. Okay. Ow, is that my brain? I think it might be. Holy shit! Quick, Alpac, Captain Alpaca, do something! He's defenseless! That really hurts! Spit in his brain! Oh. You have the grossest superpower I've ever seen. I'm out. I'm done. I, no. I, I, I totally quit. That's done. Captain Alpaca! Is that what I heard your name was? Yes, sir. Oh my god, it's Stanley! My name is Mr. Stanley. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. I'm impressed by your powers, son. I, I think we might be able to make some money off of you. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Not as much as I make for my autograph. $1,000 per, but still. Geez, that sure is a lot. Yeah, yeah, tell it. I'm rolling in it. <laughs> well, I'd love to talk business with you. That'd be great. Uh, That'd be great. Yeah, me and my sidekick just have to, uh... I, I, uh... I gotta say, though, I can't really let you in on the goods underneath this secret identity. Yeah, I couldn't that. care less. Didn't run any of it myself. Oh, All good, I want good. is the moolah. All right, well, let me just drag this guy back to jail. Well, it's great. I'll All see right. you down at the, uh, the corner bar. Okay? Good luck. Yeah. We'll take him there. All right, Captain. Stan, I'll join you. All right, you can have fun. All right. Uh, uh, well, you hey, know, tell me about the that's time my grandmother always used to say. Everything is better with pirates. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, he beat the pants off of you. We'll be back for the sequel. You're going to jail. I know. I'll pack a bag. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually kind of heavy. <laughs> 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 and yes, we got a ball. And then that was the double double feet. I believe that is the show for the evening. Is that it? Yes. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming out on Mother's Day, yeah. both live and over the internet. internet. And now we will all in unison sing you the hat trick pony goodnight song. Five, six, seven, eight. Hey, hey, pony, hey, you goodnight. Sleep tight. Thank you, guys.